watching Animal Facts. People love the ragdoll, and it's easy to see why. He's a gorgeous cat with unique characteristics and traits. Truth is, a lot of cat lovers would love to have a ragdoll companion. But do you really know what to expect from this beautiful feline? Considering how rare and expensive this beauty can be, here are seven things you need to know about owning a ragdoll cat. Let's get started. But before we start, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to become part of our notification squad to not miss a single fact. Number seven. You may have heard that the ragdoll doesn't shed. The truth is that your fluffy kitty will shed a lot, despite some internet claims. This is especially true in warmer climates. There is little you can do to stop this from happening. As a result, you'll have to come up with creative ways to rid your furniture and clothing and likely every other surface of your house of kitty hair. And you'll likely end up brushing your feline friend at least twice a week. And regular trips to the groomer will definitely need to be added to your schedule to keep him free of mats and to trim his coat. Oh, and if you heard that the ragdoll is hypoallergenic, he's not. Number six. Not all ragdoll cats go floppy when held. Although many expect the ragdoll to wilt into their arms like his namesake child's toy, not all ragdoll cats feel obliged to play the role of a fuzzy baby doll. All cats are individuals, and the ragdoll, despite his reputation for doing so, may not go limp when being held. Like other cats, he may not like being held at all. You might get one that does, but don't base your decision to get a ragdoll on it. Number five. The general consensus of ragdoll lovers is that he is exceptionally affectionate. Take this with a grain of salt. Again, cats are individuals. If you want a loner that will leave you alone, the ragdoll should probably not be your first choice. The ragdoll loves to sit on your lap, be near you, and have your attention. He's not going to hide while you're entertaining guests either. He's going to make his presence well known, and he's going to demand attention from anyone who will give it. He loves being close to people, and he demands attention. But then again, your ragdoll might not be a lap cat at all. Number four. Related to the fact that he loves people, the ragdoll is not a huge fan of being left alone for long periods of time. If you work a lot or are out of the house often, a ragdoll isn't going to be a happy kitty. As a matter of fact, many ragdoll fans report that he's not content to wait outside the bathroom while you shower or even a short trip to the potty. Some suggest you could get two ragdolls so they'll have someone to have a decent conversation with while you're out. The ragdoll is intelligent, which could lead to a bit of mischief if you've not set guidelines in an early age. When it comes to cats, there are rarely rules per se, just guidelines of acceptable behavior. But if you start early, he'll learn quickly what is acceptable and what is not. If you don't want your ragdoll on the counters, for example, be firm and consistent and start early. Number two. If you're used to having short-haired domestic cats, then you might be surprised by just how big the ragdoll can get. Of course, there are smaller ragdolls, but he's considered to be a large cat breed. So you need a larger litter box, a larger cat bed, a larger cat tree, and larger food bowls, and um, larger bags of food. 
you will also need a larger cat carrier, as the ragdoll not only weighs more, but may be taller and longer than your average kitty. Have you seen our Animal Facts merch? Of course we've got cat t-shirts and more. There's a link in the description or on the card in the upper right corner of this video. As a breed, the ragdoll is relatively rare and thus expensive, and can be a bit hard to find. Anytime there is a scarcity, you run the risk of scams. There are a surprising amount of scams online when it comes to adopting a purebred kitten. Make sure you are adopting a ragdoll cat through a reputable breeder who is registered with the TICA and CFA if your heart is set on a ragdoll or any other purebred animal for that matter. Ask around on Facebook groups and forums if you don't know where to start. All the kitties in this video are from House of Stewart Ragdoll Kittens YouTube channel. There's a link in the description. And of course, the cost of having a ragdoll in your home doesn't end at the breeder either. A ragdoll is a 10 to 20 year commitment which includes food, grooming, and larger amenities. He's also prone to certain breed-specific health issues, such as heart conditions and bladder stones that can require veterinarian care. And of course, there's always a chance of addiction, and that one ragdoll may be the gateway to a house full of ragdolls. If you like this video, check out some of our other videos here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for amazing kitties. And as always, catch you next time.